Hello, my name is Darren Nwaka, and I'm the author of Vascular Technology Made Simple. So today, um, we will be taking a look at the lower extremity uh, arterial, and I'm just going to give you some landmarks in um, identifying your vessels and how to obtain optimal images when looking at the uh, lower extremity arteries, okay? So today I have a young model with me, and also when you're taking a look at the lower extremity, the first thing you wanna make sure you do is have the patient bring their leg over towards you this way, okay? And again, of course, um, if, for those who didn't watch the um, Venus Doppler study, um, you want to know that this is the thigh you're looking at. Your vessel runs right at the center of your thigh. So whatever you do with your transducer, you wanna stay at the center of your thigh because when you do that, your image would be right at the center of your transducer, okay? I am scanning left-handed today, so please bear with me. I'll try my best to stay on the vessel. Um, I usually scan right-handed. Um, so again, you can see in this image here, I'm gonna take color off for a second. I'm right at the center of the thigh, and as I'm coming down here, the vessel stays in view. I'm just gonna do color and waveforms um, quickly of the lower extremity art arteries. I'm gonna start right at the groin there. As you go all the way to the groin, um, you're right at the common femoral. After the common femoral, I usually would just wrap my probe up as high as I can to get the distal segment of the external iliac artery. And as you come down, you're in your common femoral artery. And as you, again, in this image, um, what I'm doing is literally just rocking my probe. I'm really not moving at all. So again, you can see me just kind of rocking, rocking and rocking up towards this patient's head. And now I'm rocking back down, come on femoral artery, and I'm gonna keep rocking down. Now I'm at the uh, superficial femoral artery. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna squeeze the vein out of the way there. Um, that's my superficial femoral artery. I'm gonna stir my box the other way so now I can get my deep femoral artery. You can see in this view here, I'm squeezing that vein out of the way. I'm gonna turn my color again down as well. You can see femoral artery, and you can see the profonda right there. Uh, you can see your bifurcation. So again, you want to get a waveform at the common femoral, the femoral, and at the profunda artery. And then again, like I stated, you're staying right at the center. Look at me staying right at the center of the vessel. As I'm staying at the center of the vessel, you can see on my screen here, as I stay at the center, I'm able to follow my vessel down. I'm just literally following the vessel down, following the vessel down. Again, I remain at the center of the thigh and I'm following the vessel down like I stated earlier, following the vessel down. And again, look at the leg. You can see again, I remain at the center of her thigh. Going down, going down, going down. I'm gonna turn my color again up because again, at this part I'm at the distal segment. The vessel is a little deeper, so you wanna turn up your color again so that you can um, optimize the flow within that vessel. And so right about this segment, it, it's a, it could be difficult. Another thing I try to do is I can try to steer my box different ways to see if I can optimize uh, the flow within that vessel. And I did that a little bit also, just um, steering the box straight down. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, when you get to this part of the leg, as I said it in the uh, Venus uh, video, you can come right to behind the knee here, behind the knee. Again, the popliteal is right at the center of uh, behind the knee there. And I'm gonna stay right in there. You can look at my screen there. The popliteal is right there at you, right at the center. I'm gonna turn on that vessel. Now, as I turn on that vessel here, you can see another thing I'm going to do now, just watching the screen, I'm rocking the probe towards a head. Rocking the probe towards a head, and you can see that in the thigh here. I'm rocking the probe towards a head. Right at this segment, I can get a proximal popliteal, or some people would call it a distal femoral artery. Again, and then I'm gonna rock it now. I'm gonna get a proximal popliteal artery. I'm gonna rock it now. Now, at this point, I'm not doing much movement. I'm literally just rocking my probe. And then what I'm going to do next is steer my box. I steer it, and now I can get the distal popliteal. At some point in this image, if I steer the box straight down, I would see the split. All right, and you can see your perineal. You can see your split, your perineal. It's coming straight down and your uh, posterior tip um, artery. 
right at that segment you can choose to get your images there depending on your um the the requirement at your uh facility now another trick to getting the um, posterior tips as well is you want to take a look at the calf this is your calf and you're looking at the image right at the center of the calf okay usually when i do my posterior tape i like to start um at the distal segment and i usually like to start at the distal segment because usually at that segment the vessel is quite superficial and it's much easier to see and you can see it right there at the distal um calf and again i can follow it up towards the head keeping that center in uh, keeping it in view at the center following up towards the head keeping it in view following it up towards the head keeping it in view following it up towards the head keeping it in view following it up towards the head keeping it in view and right now i'm at the mid um uh the mid calf um almost but you can always get follow your posterior tip right at that segment just like that um when you're looking at your calf vessels another trick to obtaining the anterior tips is again looking at the foot and again this is the center you want to put your probe right in here when you put your probe right in there you should be able to see your anterior tibial artery again this trick usually works for me um all the time um and you can see that in that view again that's what i just did put the probe right at the um at the um, ankle there at the anterior aspect of the ankle and you can see that again here and usually what i do is take a waveform see if it's nice and triphasic then i'm good if not then i have to keep following it again and all you want to do is put plenty of gel right up here and just follow it up follow it up at some point you might have to angle a little bit lateral but just following up would help you identify your anterior tibial artery hopefully this video helps you in case if you need further readings on what i talked about today you can visit www.divinescanning.com. This book is available on my website. This book is also available on Amazon. Um, and also, if you have any question, divinescanning at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Have a good day.